So it's six o'clock on a Tuesday night. I'm just about to put some aluminium cleaner just on the bottom part of there just to get leftover dirt and grime and stuff off and give around the dust seals a bit of a clean up and give the whole shaft a clean because as you can see all the way up where the triple clamps bolt on it's pretty grotty. I was just going to say welcome to episode four <laughs> but there you go. <laughs> yeah. So the rest of the 350 is actually looking pretty sweet. Is this good content? Is it? I don't think so. I think it is. It's <laughs> sensational. <laughs> you would. You're biased. <laughs> well, we've got to give the people something to watch while they're in isolation, trapped at home in their own bloody prisons. That's right. And I need something to edit, so... Yeah, you need something got, to do too. You've got to film shit. Yeah. That's a nice bike over there, but... I know, I look at it, and it still needs a bit of work, and it needs to be put back together. No, it's pretty much done now. Yeah. Oh, I was talking about mine. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> I reckon I'll just do the fender and the triple clamp and stuff so that I can probably shove this back on. Okay. And um, I'll leave you to do the forks. <laughs> I just want to clean that with a scrubber. <gasps> okay. <clears throat> Looks like a big baseball bat and how it goes fat in the middle is like... Hit a dinger. Bing! <laughs> I'm going all out. Oh, that's hissing at me. It's because I'm pressing the button. Mm -hmm. There's oil coming out. Tin ball socket. Tin ball socket. Get in a fucking tin me away. Oh, that's gritty. What the fuck were you doing before? Putting grit in there. Nice. 420. Beautiful. <laughs> Oh, you've forgotten your bloody tie-down points, haven't you? Oh, stupid Whoa. son of a bitch. I'll start on doing this bitch. It's a bit dark in here, isn't it? Yep. It's stuck it in there. Needs exactly 17 Newton meters. Thank you. What are you doing? Are you doing Kiwi or are you doing South African? <laughs> What's the difference? <laughs> A lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's 17.5 Newton meters just there. <clears throat> Sticker carnage. Alright, it's Saturday again. Another weekend in the shed. We're going to get this thing back together. Yeah. There's not much left to do, is there? Not really. So, we've just pretty much been waiting for this paint to dry on the header pipe. And I've had a couple of people asking about whether or not it's a good idea to, to do it. Um, paint the header pipe. Personally, I prefer the polished look. Uh, <coughs> Mostly because it's lower maintenance, like it does get a build up of mud and dirt around here which can be a bit of a pain to clean off, but the most of it, the rest of it looks pretty good for, you know, without having anything done to it. <laughs> Whereas, you're finding with the painted one, it sort of, the dirt stains it or something, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, yep, the mud stained it a bit, yep. As soon as you go yep, out in the dirt. Yeah, any drop of mud on it, it wouldn't come off with the pressure washer. 
probably would with a bit of gumption or but even if you a use gumption. It's just going to take the. You're going to wear it. It's going to wear yeah. into the paint. Anyway, so it's it needs to be repainted fairly often or, or cleaned somehow. Uh, but the big thing is obviously with the ceramic heat paint, you have to cure it, and we don't have an oven big enough to fit that in. You're supposed to put it in uh, 200 degrees for. It is fuck all. Anyway, uh, where was I? Yeah, you need to. You're supposed to bake them in a 200 degree oven for a couple of hours, I think. But um, what we do is just run the bike in stages. So we just run the bike till it heats up and just starts smoking a little bit around the front. Uh, switch the bike off, let it cool, then repeat. And you just go a little bit longer each time until eventually the whole lot's heated up to temperature. Um, it's not the ideal way to do it, but it seems to work alright. Furiously scrubbing away still. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Front brake cleaning time. Yep. And then she's almost ready to go back to Gill. What sticker do you want on your front fender? Superman? No! One of these? Yeah, oh no! Holographic one? Yeah. yeah I thought you might say that. Those hollow stickers sold out really quick. Quickest ones yet. It was good. <laughs> because it's not a properly flat surface, it's just lifting a bit at the edges, so giving it a bit of heat. And make it stick properly. There's no bubbles there, but maybe we should just donate the hairdryer to the garage because it doesn't even get used upstairs, it gets used more in the garage. <laughs> that you know of. I blow dry my pubes all the time, babe. <laughs> Nat secretly loves it when I put stickers randomly on her bike in Don't stupid put places. It in there. The last one, I think I stuck it over a. Um, Speedo. Yes, it did. <laughs> mm. What about on the back of your radiator? Do you know what? If you put stuff and secretly hide stickers on my bike, it's fucking game on, bitch. <laughs> oh, <hey. laughs> yeah, that's that's vicious right there. <laughs> Savagery. Well, <laughs> I'm still getting you back for that time you turned on my hidden kill switch, and, I, <laughs> and then I went to go for a ride with Jesse, and my bike wouldn't bloody start. <laughs> All right. So my darling husband <laughs> just realised that uh, instead of using brake cleaner or contact cleaner to clean the spot for my sticker, he actually used tyre shine instead. <laughs> Probably there you go, tyre shine. Mm, well, that is stick. <laughs> you can't blame me. Look, the cans are pretty much identical. <laughs> Same colour anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we should stop wasting these stickers now. There's no growth here left. Well, if someone used the right type of cleaner, we'd be right. <laughs> here we go, brake and parts cleaner. <laughs> sure about that? Do you want me to double check? And shut the hell up. <laughs> Just shows how good our stickers are, look. Stuck to a silicon spray, <laughs> spray plastic surface. <laughs> Now I'm going to get air bubbles everywhere, you watch. <laughs> Stand back. I'm back. Idiot at work. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that looks a bit better. Let's see how she goes this time. We don't generally waste any stickers like that. They get repurposed for the back of the trailer. Or in this case, the KDM spare bolts box. Did you use the right can of stuff? <laughs> <laughs>
Yes, I use Tyshine, my love. Otherwise, it wouldn't look so shiny. All right, you're the smart one of the yeah, two. Yeah, I am. So what's left now? Just putting it back together, pretty much. I just right. want to clean the pan guards and stuff, and then we can do it like that. Yeah, the handlebars and controls are pretty much the only thing that's still dirty. It's time to get the gumption out, Sonny. Anybody with a 350 know what this little plug's for? It was never plugged into anything on this bike that I know of. What is it? Tell me. Please. It's time for this week's shout out and this week we'll give a shout out to Ari, our little mate in Jakarta, Indonesia. Good on you Ari, thanks for all the comments and everything mate. Um, and also to Les in Brizzy. I think Les is in Brizzy. Is it Les Ferrari or something like that? Is that his last name? Frederick. Fredericks. Looks like Ferrari every time <laughs> I see it. <laughs> Les Fredericks. Good on you, mate. The dude with the big Ducati monster. Thank so you for all the comments, too, buddy. Cheers. I thought you were going to say something else then. <laughs> with the big Ducati. <laughs> the big Ducati. Do caddy. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, boys. Good practice. Good, good dance practice. Uh, darling, I don't think it's supposed to be on the stand while you're balancing. <laughs> uh, I was going so well, too. <laughs> so you're done with this part of the bike? Yep. I've just got the headlight and the fork guards to do. Sweet. And then we're set to throw it all back together, all nice and shiny. So I can put the header pipe back on while you're doing that? Or do you want to do it? You can put it on if you want. No, I'm happy to wait if you want to do it. Well, I don't want you to stand around trying to find things to do. I'm filming. Okay. I don't mind. I'm filming and, and fucking up your stickers. <laughs> Not this time. This one's stuck on real good. Yeah. Works better with a bit of cleaner instead of lubricant <laughs> underneath the sticker. <laughs> Shut up. How good is this sunshine? Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I got the DTs. I need a drink. So definitely don't over tighten those. I've already had to heli coil two on my bike. They strip it out real easy. Another classic Josh move. I put this <laughs> <laughs> put this fender on the other day. And uh, look where the brakes are. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> so now he's got to take the fender off and fix the brakes. <laughs> Actually, I take that back. To be fair, I put the fender on first. Somebody else put the forks on afterwards. That could have easily come around while the forks are off. Missy, apologise, please. All those names you were calling me. I wasn't calling you any names. And I was feeling all guilty and stupid, but it was actually you. Oh, <laughs> bite me. <laughs> Still love you. I love you. But I feel much better about myself now. Oh, yeah, because you're passing the blame. Hey, well, I'll take full credit for this sticker botch up. But this one's you. <laughs> this is how we do. Yeah. Do it twice. Yeah, because we love it. And people on the internet take advice from us. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, did you even clean under there? Under what? Under the fender. You cleaned the black smudge. The... <laughs> That's it. Which now looks even worse. What? So we sent out all the t-shirts and hoodies yesterday. Woohoo! Pretty cool, had a good, really good response. Um, all that, so a big job dressing up all the uh, packages and sending them out, but... It's all done. 
And thank you to everybody who bought hoodies and jumpers and stubby coolers and stickers. Your support is greatly appreciated. Yeah, we hope you like them. <laughs> <laughs> you want to make sure you don't over tighten these bolts either. <gasps> oh, shit. I think I just snapped it. Just kidding. <laughs> There's no birds today. No. They're awesome. probably sleeping. <sighs> Don't you fucking strip those bolts. Nah, I'll just snap the heads off them. Oh. I saw that, you <laughs> cheeky. <laughs> Right, I think we're ready to put in the exhaust. Thirty foot pounds, twenty seven point seven three five Newton meters per square kilometer. <laughs> Actually, I don't really know what the torques are for those. It's tank time now. Right now, it's tank time. Is it just this little one? Gonna check the little inline filter here before we plug the fuel line back together. There's a little inline filter, nice and clean. Now it's fully clean. <laughs> Got a little bit of O-ring, just a tiny bit of lube on the tip before you slip it in. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let the burn begin. So you got to do it in stages, don't you, Mrs. Natalie? Yes, we do, Mr. Josh. You don't just leave Start it running. It, yeah, and let it run. So that's it guys, Saturday is just about over and the 350 is complete. Sparkling clean. It's pretty swish. Light isn't real good, but uh, you get the idea. There's still one piece left to put on, and that's the exhaust guard. Um, we might do a few more burns on the on the paint there before we put that on. But um, yeah, both bikes are ready to rock and roll, and so are we, well and truly. Thanks for watching these uh, garage videos, guys. I uh, hope they haven't bored you too much. And uh, hopefully we'll be talking to you from the trails real soon. See you guys. Bye. Oh my God, are you serious? Did you even watch
wash your bike. Look at all this bloody dirt still. Look. Oh yeah, here we go. You can wipe that off with your finger. That's all from you touching it. Get off, get away from and it. And there's dirt on your hey, seat. Stop putting your grotty fingers on it. So uh, just as an exercise in stupidity, I'm going to try and uh, get Nat to sit on the bike and I'm going to try and lift the front wheel up and she wants to just feel what balance point feels like when you're doing a wheelie. So hopefully I can lift the front wheel up without her falling sideways. So just so she's got an idea of what it feels like to get the bike back on the balance point without tipping it over. Don't know if that's going to help her do a wheelies or not, but she wants to give it a go, so we'll give it a try. Yeah, I'm in first gear. Oh, I think I'm in first gear. Yeah. First tested to see if I'm strong enough to lift this thing. Let's keep the front brake on. Yeah.